Hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial on performance tuning uh, together with Blitz Report in the using the AWR type reports uh, and a better way to analyze these. Okay, starting with uh, running Blitz Report, um, it's available um, once installed. It's available on all the menus as as you dictate uh, by the installation script. Um, you can run it in two modes. One is in developer mode, which is basically where you're creating SQL, and the other is uh, user mode, which is basically using the reports that have been assigned to the users and given responsibilities. Uh, so let's just start by running Blitz Report. It's uh, done with Java or professional forms, um, so it's very easy to use uh, if you've got familiarity with uh, Oracle EBS. Um, we simply click in uh, the list of reports field, and we can uh, basically look for the AWR reports. So I'm just going to scan down here. And in fact, uh, I'm just going to select those. So here we've got a list of AWR reports. Um, the one we're interested in today is the SQL performance summary, um, which is basically an upgrade on the standard AWR uh, report presented by um, you know the standard uh, AWR process and I'll just uh, remind us what that looks like um, so here we've got uh, well our version which is basically a saved version of the AWR report which is fairly long and uh, you know quite complicated to read uh, unless you've got several years of experience it, it also um, it doesn't exactly tell you exactly which line of code and uh, which uh, Oracle package was running in a very straightforward way to read. So um, I'm just going to go down here to show you one of the ones that's uh, commonly used, uh, which is basically, if I can find the section in this report, is, uh, you know, the, well, let's just scroll through and uh, we'll look at uh, which one we would typically look at to to basically get into the tuning side. Um, so I'm just scanning this file here now. I'm interested in uh, you know what's uh, what's actually been waiting, uh, which events and so on. Um, <clears throat> and I'll just get down to the particular report I'm interested in, which is the um, ordered by elapsed time. So this particular report here, as you can see, um, we've got uh, elapsed time on the left, uh, number of executions, and which SQL module, uh, and what was the select. So there is some analytical information that allow you to, to progress a bit further, but uh, I'll just show you uh, what we get from running the AWR uh, Enginatics version of this particular report. So let's just start by opening the report. Um, you see here we've got uh, ability to schedule. Um, so we've got options here where we can uh, send via email and we can select the type of output, um, you know, comma separated, Excel, etc. Um, from a user perspective, uh, they would get the ability to uh, template um, so here is very similar to folder technology where you can simply move left and right and, and reorder as required. So we have those capabilities uh, for the user, but as, as a developer, you would have access to the setup anyway. Um, within the setup, you've got uh, the SQL that's been prepared. Now these are seeded and available from the library as well. Um, and the parameters are uh, very straightforward to add. You simply double click and select uh, either an ex existing one or you can add your own um, parameter in there. Uh, it uses all the standard lists of values and uh, value sets. Um, <clears throat> security is good as well. You can assign, include, exclude to user level or responsibility application and so on. Um, and then you can categorize. So you can put them into the category of DBA, uh, diagnostics, etc. cetera. Um, <clears throat> there are other things that can be done. For example, um, it always keeps version control. So if you do modify the SQL, then you've always got a, a reference point uh, where it uh, came from. Other things you can do, you can um, import, export. So once you move between different environments, you can export your query you've made, or you can import from uh, things like uh, BI Publisher, you can import from uh, Concurrent Program or Discoverer. 
Um, so we do have a number of customers who are using this to replace their Discoverer and, and BI uh, work. Typically, you can import a BI publisher and, and then it just takes a couple of hours of rework to, to get those to, to run and, and work. It brings all the parameters and security assignments and, and, and so on. Um, we're not going to do that. We're just going to run this report now. Um, <clears throat> we can put in a piece of, you know, if, if SQL contains certain strings, we can put those in, um, module, module type. Uh, we can also obviously have it looking at different times of the day and different packages and schemas and so on. Uh, let's go ahead and run. Uh, I'll just show you some of the key features here. Uh, as this goes through, it goes through the um, concurrent manager. You see uh, it goes from scheduled running, uh, et cetera. We've got a very short sleep time on this database because it's demonstration database. So we, we literally run them within a, a, a zero weight uh, function uh, amount of time. So here on the left, we've got uh, the module that's been running. Um, you can filter across um, based on module type, for example. So if you're interested in, um, is it a concurrent uh, request, a form? or perhaps it's uh, you know a custom program that's been developed. And then over on the right, uh, well, we've got responsibility that ran it, um, and then we've got the usual uh, elements you'd get from the AWR. Um, but we've also got the, obviously got the text here, and we've got the line of the code that's uh, response, or the offending line of the code. Um, so you, you basically have um, the idea of the SQL session that's run um, and you've also got the line of the code that uh, it, it ran in. So um, I've put together also uh, an article. So you see here a code line on the left there and you've got the actual package here as well. Um, th there's, there's an article on this as well, which obviously you're, you're reviewing. Um, and this video will be available on the Nginatix uh, video channel, YouTube channel. Okay, so within the report, um, we've got uh, all the things you would expect, like the number of rows processed, what disk I.O. was was going on, how much buffering was was uh, it taking, and actually how long it uh, took to execute. This is uh, quite a, um, this database, vision database, doesn't have many badly performing uh, programs, but if you were to look at uh, the version uh, that we took from one of our customers, uh, there's plenty of uh, things with, within the um, within this particular article you can have a look at and see. Uh, predominantly, uh, it's custom code that, that's causing the problem. Um, okay, so that's how you run it. Uh, you can obviously change uh, the setup, and then this is this is developer mode. Obviously, then you would assign, and then you'd give the user just the ability to run. Clearly, this is not one of those uh, reports you'd give to the user, but there are a number of seeded reports uh, that cover each of the module and processes. So, you know, we've got here payables, we've got uh, different uh, queries around um, exceptions around FND, for example, fixed assets, uh, FND objects, we've got uh, programs to analyze concurrent requests, how long they've been running for, how long they've been waiting for. Uh, we've got the entire flex field and value sets and the hierarchy used uh, throughout. So as I mentioned, uh, there's around about 180, 190 seeded reports. Um, in here, you can also see all of the BI reports that have been Im imported from standard Oracle and concurrent programs as well. Um, that process in itself is straightforward to execute and uh, I can just show you quickly how to do one of those. Um, so it's literally you'd go into import, um, you can choose the type of import. So there's one um, I'm familiar with all inventories value. Um, and then this basically negates the need to work through complex XML. So really fast way to short uh, cut your development cycle. You see here, there's the package uh, coming in from the BI publisher. All the parameters are brought in, the assignments that the standard Oracle would have. Um, and that's really, you know, in a nutshell, that's how long it takes to, to bring in a BI pub report. I'm not sure if this is going to run, but we'll we'll have a little go and see if it's uh, ready straight out of the box uh, to run. 
and it puts it directly should put it directly into Excel as per the other request uh, we just generated which is this one so you see here very small amount that's needed to do we've got an extra item field here which would uh, probably do some maintenance on uh, to complete that uh, using the template options I, I mentioned or indeed you could amend the SQL so there in a nutshell is um, is uh, you know the AWR and bringing in different programs if you wanted to take this to another environment you simply export and it would create, create an XML file for you to take into your next environment by all means uh, visit us on the um, the Engineatics uh, homepage whereby you can review uh, a library of uh, different uh, SQL programs and reports um, and uh, well thank you for listening and uh, that concludes this uh, short